Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a LG G7 ThinkQ that is originally from T-Mobile here in the US. And this is a device that does indeed have the Google account lock enabled because as we can see here, as we're going through the setup steps, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset and to continue, we have to sign in with a Google account that was previously on the device. And so that's basically what the Google lock consists of is whenever you factory reset an Android device these days without first removing either the security screen lock or the Google account from it, it's going to ask you for one of the those two things again after the reset has been performed in order to verify that only the true original owner can get back into the device. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after having done a factory reset or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was locked. And then after the purchase, obviously the buyer discovered it was locked and they weren't going to have the previous user's login information. And in those cases, the seller has usually long since disappeared since it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove the lock from this exact model without having to have the previous user's login information. It's something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we just did here with this one. So as you can see, the device was on the Google lock screen. Then I just powered it off and plugged it into our program here that goes ahead and takes care of that lock for us. Now that the device is restarting, we should be able to see that we can indeed get all the way through the setup steps without running into the Google lock page. So we're here on the welcome screen. We're gonna go ahead and tap that arrow to start going through the process. It's asking us about various setup things, including a SIM card, which we don't need. So we're just going to skip that. Second screen SIM card. We're going to set it up as a new device. And now you'll actually notice that it, it prompts us to sign in with any Google account instead of that message that was requiring the specific previous account that was on it. So we're just going to skip that step and keep going. We don't need to add a name, so we're going to skip that. We don't need to add our fingerprint or anything else. We're going to skip that too. And we need to read and agree to all of the Google services, so we're going to do that. We don't agree to all of LG's terms and conditions. And there's a T-Mobile screen that we have to go through also. And there we go, we're all set. We've got the home screen loading up. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features. And this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So when we go under About Phone, we can indeed see that we have a G7 ThinkQ. And if we go under Hardware Info, the model number there, the LM G710TM, out of all the G7s, that's the version for the T-Mobile specific variant of that phone. 
So if you have one of these T-Mobile G7s and need help getting the Google Lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact info will be right down in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.